Whether your home's heating and air system is on the brink of giving out, or maybe an upgrade is overdue, considering a new system for your home will ultimately mean choosing between two likely options, and that's electric or natural gas. But how do you decide which one is the right fit for your lifestyle and budget? Keep watching because we're here to make that choice a whole lot easier and ensure your home stays comfortable year round. <laughs> At Monkey Wrench, for over 15 years, we've installed electric and gas fueled HVAC systems in hundreds of homes across Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. We work with the top brands to ensure homeowners have various HVAC unit options. Electric and natural gas powered HVAC systems are two options you'll encounter, and in this video, we'll review their key differences and shared similarities in the following areas. HVAC operational design, energy efficiency, differences in pricing, insulation and maintenance. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we are constantly adding new videos every week. Now let's jump in. What's the difference between electric and natural gas HVAC systems? Both of these systems are capable of providing a home with heating and cooling year round. Electric HVAC systems only use electricity to generate heat, whereas gas HVAC units use natural gas as a primary fuel source. The inside of these two systems also differ in how they generate heat, but are similar in how they produce cool air. HVAC Operational Design Electric and gas-powered HVAC systems share similar cooling parts, but are designed to generate heat differently. Both systems rely on refrigeration cycle to extract indoor heat. Inside both systems are an evaporator coil, compressor, and a condenser coil that interact with refrigerant to produce cool air throughout a home. On the heating end, Gas and electric HVAC systems are more different than anything. Gas-powered HVAC systems generate heat through a furnace that uses heat created by natural gas to warm air before it's circulated throughout a home. Electric-only HVAC systems can have different heating designs. For example, the electric furnace. These furnaces do not use natural gas. Instead, they use electric coils that use electricity to generate heat. These systems aren't commonly installed in Los Angeles and the surrounding cities since air source heat pumps are more efficient at heating while requiring less energy. So let's talk air source heat pumps. Instead of using natural gas, air source heat pumps pull in the surrounding air and extract the heat from it. The extracted heat then goes through a complex procedure where it's used to create warm air circulated throughout a home. Because of their two-in-one design, air source heat pumps are the leading option for electric heating and air systems if homeowners want something other than a natural gas field heating and air system. Energy efficiency. Both electric and natural HVAC systems have highly efficient units and units that meet minimum requirements for energy efficiency. Even though both systems have different energy sources, they all follow specific efficiency standards set by the US Department of Energy. Heating Seasonal Performance Factor, also known as HSPF2. The HSPF2 rating is exclusive to air source heat pumps and measures their ability to produce warm air efficiently during cold weather. The minimum HSPF2 rating is 7.5 for split heat pump systems and 6.7 for packaged heat pump systems. A highly efficient heat pump has an HSPF2 rating of 10 or higher. Now let's cover the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, also known as SEER. The cooling portions of both electric and gas HVAC systems measure their energy output for cooling using the SEER rating. The minimum rating allowed by the federal government is 13, and the most efficient cooling systems have a SEER rating of around 20. Keep an eye out for these ratings as you compare different systems. All heating and air manufacturers must include these ratings on an energy guide label attached to the HVAC unit surface. Cost. The price for both electric and gas HVAC systems can cost over $10,000, but electric systems such as heat pumps can cost a little more than natural gas field HVAC systems. An electric HVAC system may cost more upfront, but can cost less to operate than some gas-powered HVAC systems. Even though their upfront cost is higher, homeowners with a new electric heating and air system installation can take advantage of available tax credits for heat pumps. High-efficient gas-powered HVAC systems are also eligible for certain tax credits. In terms of monthly energy bills, electric and gas HVAC systems have different price ranges due to certain factors such as usage, size of a home, and fluctuating gas and electricity rates. Installation and maintenance for an electric and gas HVAC system are more similar than different. Both systems can take a couple of days to install, but the total installation time can depend on the size of the home and the amount of ductwork required. 
Because these systems offer heating and cooling, it's recommended to have them serviced twice a year before the start of summer and winter. An HVAC tune-up helps keep the system running smoothly and allows certified technicians to inspect the system's overall efficiency. Both systems also rely on air filters to capture dust, pollen, and other particles. It's recommended to check the air filter once a month and replace it every few months to ensure optimal performance. Is an electric or natural gas furnace right for me? As you start your journey to find a new HVAC system, you'll have to consider whether to go electric or the gas route. Now you know the differences between these two types of heating and air systems, so you can weigh out their features and see which one is best suited for you and your family's needs. If you're interested in a new HVAC system installation and live in Los Angeles or the surrounding areas, you can contact us using the link in the description and mention code YouTube. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe as we are constantly adding new videos every week.